Hi guys, it's the first day of our growth challenge and that means it is time for me to trim my ends. I wanna give myself the best fresh start that I can. So I wanted to trim my ends by cutting away any single strand knots, split ends, or just thin frail ends. As you can see, I am doing so on a heatless blowout and I'm using my index finger to create a part down the center and I will clip the first half away and then split my, my hair into six sections. So to keep my hair from tangling, I'm just twisting it up, clipping it out of the way, and I'll begin on the first side creating my first three sections. As you can see, I'm using my finger to part, and now I'm going in with my Demon brush just to smooth out any tangles and make sure that my hair is very well detangled, and then I'll twist it and clip it out of the way. Now that I have all of my sections created, as you can see, I have one in the back, in the center, and then on the side. Now I'm going in with my first section in the back, and I am using my Dittman brush to brush it down and smooth it down as smooth as I can. Again, I didn't use heat on this blowout, so it does have shrinkage. I did try my best to get it in frame or in the frame of the camera, but some of it is cut off. So I'm using my scissors to trim where I feel the ends are thin and straggly and where I got have my single strand knots. And then now I'm gonna bring it to the front, smooth it down again using my den rim to make sure that I have everything even, and then I will trim in the front. Now that I have it smoothed and adjusted, I'm gonna see where it's uneven and go ahead and trim below. As you can see, I'm not trimming a whole lot because I really didn't have much um, split ends or single strand knots. Mostly I had single strand knots, so I want to make sure that I definitely get rid of those. And I'm just trimming it off, one, to make it even and help to get rid of those, those thin ends. And now I'll twist that section up and move on to the next. So here I am using a center section. I'm going again and smoothing everything out with my Denman brush, making sure that I'm brushing gently. And I, this section, because of it being in the crown portion of my hair and because of my recent dim, uh, deeper cut, I am going to split the section in half because this section of my hair has layers to it. Now I'm going to take the center section and I'm going to brush it all the way up as far as it can go to get it as smooth and straight as possible and then I'll bring it down low once I get to the ends of my hair to trim. So now that I've reached the end, I'm bringing it down in front of my face so that I can trim away any of the single strand knots and also make the section even. But as you can see, the crown section is a little shorter because of the way that I have it layered. So I'm gonna split that one more time and split the crown section and then do the same reach all the way up to the top bring it down in front and trim now I'll take this other section hold it out to the side because it is again more so on the side of my hair rather than stretching it up I'll hold it out taut and then once I smooth it with my Demon brush I'll bring the ends around to the front of my face and trim straight across Again, my goal is to get rid of any raggedy, scraggly ends or thin ends and also cut away any and all single strand knots. And of course, I wanna make sure that when it hangs low, it's pretty even. So I'm just smoothing it down, making sure that it feels even and I'll cut away any excess and combine it with the rest and move on to the next section. And for this front section, I will actually do it the same exact way that I did the center section. This is a great way for you to trim your ends in a heatless blowout if your curl pattern is a lot tighter than mine or you feel that you can't trim your ends while your hair is curly. As well, I actually think that this is probably the easiest or safest way for me to do so. And I think this is going to be the way that I do so throughout this 
um, one year growth challenge journey so that I can make sure that my hair is even all over. Of course, when I trim my ends, when it's curly, it comes out pretty even, but the last time that I straightened my hair for the first time after only doing curly trims, I did notice that my hair grew kind of weird and I wanna make sure that I combat that from the jump so that I don't have to cut so much off once I'm done with the journey and do straighten my hair. So again, this is a great way to cut if you are um, actually relaxed or natural, it doesn't matter. But this is a great way to also trim your ends without feeling the need to add heat to your hair or to flat iron it and straighten it unnecessarily just to, straight, to trim your ends. If you want to see how I trim my ends on curly hair, then I will leave that link in the description box below. Once I'm done trimming all sections of my hair, I am just going to smooth it out with my Demon brush and bring it towards the front to make sure that the front sections that I just trimmed are even. Of course, the back I know is uh, now even, but of course it's kind of frizzing and shrinking up on me, so never mind what it looks like. And we are now set for the length check, which I know you all have been waiting for and I'm super excited about so that we know where to start. I put on this belt around the my waist so that I know where my waist begins. And now, as you can see, I am at mid back length. My goal, of course, is to get back to waist length, which I'm only about actually, as I can see, about an inch away, which is exciting news. And I want to surpass that. And I want to show you also from the side and again from the front just so that you can see where I am as we begin this journey together. Make sure that you do your with length check at home and take pictures or video so that you can see where you started and not get discouraged throughout the journey. I wanted to make sure I also showed you that section too. So now you see where I am front, side and back. Well, I hope that you are just as hyped as I am about starting my vitamins. Don't forget to take yours tonight. I'm excited. First day, let's do this. One year growth challenge. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.